Hi Virgo, this is a general love reading for mid-March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and our Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. And keep in mind that the rules can be reversed. All right, I also have a temporary change in the camera angle. <clears throat> so I do plan on putting it back to where it was for those of you that know how I usually have it set up but do let me know if you prefer this angle and I will keep this angle if that is the case all right Virgo let's see what is going on with you in the second half of March all right we have observer and we have barrier all right So regardless of whether you're in communication or not, I feel like somebody is keeping a very close eye on the other person, possibly even taking a step back to really observe what it is that is going on, what it is that they're feeling, how what the other person's behavior is like. Um, and there's definitely some kind of a barrier between the two of you. I feel like whoever it is that is um, doing this kind of keeping, I see it like keeping their distance and just kind of observing the situation from a distance. This person has their guard up. This person has like a wall up, like a barrier around them where you feel like you can't really get through to them or get see through them or get through them to understand what it is that's going on with them. Um, but we're gonna see what this is about. So it could be you as well. All right, um, take the messages as they apply. Okay, so Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid-March to the end of March, 2021. There's a whole bunch of cards just flipped over, I can't take those, so... Just one sec, a couple more shuffles. All right, so let's see, Virgo, for your situation, we have the Ace of Pentacles crossed by the Five of Swords. All right, so there's a lot of, um, it feels like distrust. Somebody is either deceiving the connection by not really expressing how they feel or showing um, what it is that they want here but I'm mostly seeing it as somebody not being able to fully trust that this is coming together. And it's already reminding me a little bit of Taurus, I want to say. Um, let's see. Recent past, we have the Queen of Cups. Near future, we have the Lovers. All right, wow. So there's definitely a very strong connection here between the two of you. Um, it could be that somebody has a decision to make, um, possibly between two different people. Um, if there is a decision, it doesn't have to be. We'll see when we clarify. Let me see your energy here. We have the Ace of Cups. For them, we have the Two of Pentacles. More for you is the Three of Wands. For them, the Nine of Cups. And the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so here's the thing, right off the bat, I feel like you both really want each other here. You you both feel feel this love. I feel like you're you're focusing on self-love at the moment, but you're still in this energy of waiting for this person. Um, you're waiting on them for something. We'll see what that is. Either that or you're expecting something. You're expecting that they're going to do something or you have a specific expectation of them possibly. Um, for them, Two of Pentacles and Nine of Cups, see, they, I feel like they want this as well. They feel like you do fulfill them and that you can fulfill them, but there's something here that they are juggling. And this is um, actually fitting with what I said before, if there is a third party, that it could be that it's this person who has to make a decision between um, two people, possibly. 
and it could be complicated. All right, it could be complicated. It might, it's, you know, it's not just like, you know, if it's a, if it's a casual type of a situation where, all right, I'm dating two people and it's just choosing between the two, then, you know, of course, one of them might feel like, what, I'm, a, I'm an option, you know? Um, it could be more complicated than that. For the potential outcome, though, we do have the Knight of Pentacles, so I do see um, something, you know, moving in the right direction. And I do feel like it's this person um, moving in the right direction, but possibly just a little bit slower than what you would expect or what you would want. And I do feel like there was a lot of love between the two of you in the past as well. So let's see. So let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. All right, the King of Swords and the Six of Wands. Hmm. So, There's this potential for for things to work out, all right, in the in the three D here, right, in the physical, having a practical in the beginning. Somebody doesn't trust. I feel the other person that the other person is actually um, able to kind of put things together or make things happen in a way where this could actually be. It feels like I, I I'm just going to assume that this is. Um, that this is how you feel about your person, okay? But feel free to switch the roles. It's like you're not, you're feeling like this person is not determined enough to go after what it is that they want. It's like as if they don't have what it takes. They don't have that determination. They don't have that action-oriented um, factor at the moment to be successful at creating this door of a possibility for the two of you to come together. I right, feel like you are being, um, you're not trusting that they can do that. And so it could be you that's taking that step back, putting up a barrier between you and them and just kind of observing them from a distance, waiting to see if this is going to, to change or to see maybe if you are, if you are wrong about what you are, what you are thinking. Again, it could, it could even be your person, though, also observing you and having put up a barrier. We'll see when we get to their energy. But first, let me see this Queen of Cups in the recent past. When I say recent past, okay, time is relevant. It could even be in the distant past, all right? It's just usually it would be the recent past, but it could be different. All right, the King of Cups and we have the Unknown card. All right, which I did, I actually had taken this card out of the deck um, because it's not in the traditional tarot, but I decided to put it back and it's making sense to me why it's coming through here. So we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, right? So this is like, like a perfect couple. This is such, such a loving couple. There's so much love between the two of them. So I feel like that connection was definitely there, but there was always something off about it. There was always something... Um, I'm not going to say exactly unknown, although it could be, but I feel like there was always um, the sense of not knowing if this is really going to work. Let's see. Let's see the Ace of Cups for you. All right, we have the Five of Wands, the Tower, and the Five of Cups. So yeah, you hold a lot of love for this person, but it, I'm getting that it's actually conflicting you. It's conflicting you how much love you do hold for this person. Um, I'm getting that you, you might even feel like you have um, been too patient with them. Um, you feel like maybe you have put up with a lot. 
It could even be that you... There's just a lot of, there's a lot of sadness here. Like as much love as you have for this person, I feel like that's how much sadness you're, you're also holding on to right now. Um, again, it, I can't remember if this was in Taurus's reading or in one of the fire signs, but it feels like it's a very common theme. I've been getting the tower, it feels um, quite a bit. It feels like there's just a lot of strong energies right now, just in general, in the collective, where it just feels like things are done and that things might not be able to work out. There's just, it's a very strong feeling of that. And I feel like you feel like this love, you know, that you once had here with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, that that has been destroyed. And this bothers you. It's almost as if you, you don't want that to have happened. And so it just keeps you in this in this energy of feeling um, very sad about how things have have turned out so far, or at least right now. So let me see the three of wands. It's like you're still expecting things to change, and maybe they will. Maybe they will. Let's see the lovers. Yeah. The eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, which we have in the beginning here. So. You're, you're still holding on to this. I mean, even though it's making you sad the way things seem to be working out, you're still, you're waiting to see if this person's either going to make a decision, if there is someone else um, in the picture here, maybe that is the barrier. You're expecting that they might be able to um, work on this and actually create that Ace of Pentacles, create that opening for the... This connection to work out in the in the 3D, um, in the physical, not just in thoughts, not just in fantasy. It feels like there's just like practical things that need to be done. I feel like it's not just um, it's not just emotions and and talking about things and figuring things out. I feel like there's a lot of actually hands on, like something very um, tangible in the practical world that actually needs to be physically done in order for this connection to come together and you're waiting to see if that is going to happen, if that barrier, whatever it is that's in between the two of you, if that's going to be removed. So let's see what is going on with your person here. Let's see the two of pentacles. All right, we have the Empress, we have the Chariot, and I do feel this one wanted to flip over. It's the Three of Wands. All right, so you're you're heavily on their on this person's mind. You're heavily on their mind. Um, they they're juggling. They're going back and forth between okay, should I move forward? Or should I wait? And it does. It feels like there is something that they feel they need to wait for, which may may or may not be based in reality. Um, it could just be procrastination. But they there is that drive. There is that wanting to take control of the situation. But it feels like whatever it is that they're dealing with, it feels like it's a lot on their plate right now for them to handle. And I feel like. That's why they're procrastinating. I don't really feel like it's something that they really do need to wait for. I feel like it's more of an excuse that they are holding on to um, just to like buy themselves time thinking that that things might get a little bit easier tomorrow or the next day or next week. Let me see that nine of cups. All right, the six of cups and the two of wands. Yeah, see, so again, it's like the same message. So yeah, it could even be that this person is, is also watching you from, from a distance, holding up a, a wall, like having just their door like closed 
and you're waiting to see if they're going to open that door. Um, again, it feels like this to them, you are something like, oh, it'll, it's almost coming through like a fantasy with this Nine of Cups, like a wish fulfillment. They would want a reconnection with you or they would want a um, coming together with you. They feel that it's a strong bond I do, because I do feel, again, you know, that there was a point in time where you felt like this was a very, very strong connection or that there, you were both feeling this love. Um, and now with this Two of Wands, again, because they also have the Two of Pentacles, it's like they're not really taking action. So I do feel like they have this barrier or possibly, again, like a crossroads, like a decision that they need to make. So it could be that they're waiting to just really um, make, figure out exactly which path they want to take. And based on that, based off of that is what is going to... Um, Determine whether you can make this work or not. That's what I'm getting here. I mean, again, it just feels like stalling. Okay, two of wands, three of wands. It does feel like, like a stalling um, for something that they want, which is. I don't know. You would know possibly what it is that's holding them back. Let's see. Let's see the lovers for the near future. Because both cards, both of the future energy cards are looking pretty promising. All right, just got a whole bunch here. I will take them. Let's see. So we do have the devil. All right, so again, I feel like there is definitely another situation here. Okay, it's 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 coming through to me as another as another relationship. Okay, it doesn't have to be, but that's how it's coming through to me. Um, and if there isn't another relationship, well, then there's something toxic in the way that they think of themselves in, in relation to your connection. So I hope that makes sense. So the rest of these cards are the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Cups again. It feels like... You, you and this person, you both, you both want this, basically. Um, you both want this, but somebody needs to really, um, I feel, detach themselves from something that is very negative at the moment in their lives, all right? Whether this is you or whether this is them. I'm getting mostly that it is them because they're the ones um, stalling to do something. But it could even be you, okay? Um, I do see that the connection, that that bond is, is here, even in the near future, all right? I actually feel like there's this sense of going back to how this was, like feeling, like those feelings coming back up. For whoever may have tried to block them out okay whether that be you or whether that be them whoever is blocking out these feelings they're they're coming back up the way that this um bond between the two of you was it's coming back up but i feel like there's still that negative energy whatever that is whatever that barrier is or whatever caused that barrier between the two of you, I feel like that is still here, okay, in the very in the very near future. But I'm also picking up a sense that whoever it is that is attached to that toxic energy is beginning to slowly, slowly but surely, become a little bit more independent from that, like detaching themselves from that from that toxic energy, okay? Um, and a toxic energy, it could be another person, it could be another situation, it could be the way that they're thinking, it could be um, just stalling out of fear, for example. So let's see the Knight of Pentacles. All right, the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups, which was in their energy. So yeah, see, this is them moving towards what it is that they truly 
that they truly want here, their wish fulfillment as this King of Wands, being very um, determined and passionate and action-oriented as well. So, I mean, I do see that there is that potential for them to open up this door. It's just that they might be moving a little bit, a little bit more slowly than what we would, than what you would expect. All right, Virgo. Let's get your final oracle message. If this was resonating, and please don't forget to give me a like if it did resonate for you. Final message for Virgo. Ooh, this is exactly what um, Taurus got. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So yeah, I mean, maybe you, you know you might have communication with this person, or maybe you don't. This is this applies either way. All right, having having loving thoughts about this person, being being compassionate, regardless of whether you are in communication or not, not holding on to resentment or not, you know, cursing this person out um, constantly in your mind. All right, that is, that is the message here. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So that was it, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.